So here we are. So uh, who are you guys and uh, who do you work for? Hey, my name is Nigel Kirsten. I'm CTO at Puppet Labs. We're an IT automation company based out of Portland, Oregon. I was a sysadmin for a long time before I joined to help make software to delight sysadmins. And I'm Teo Tyree. I'm head of business development and one of the co-founders of Puppet Labs. And, and like Nigel, I'm a sysadmin too. We're a company of sysadmins trying to make sysadmins more powerful so they can help out their organizations. Fantastic. So uh, could you tell us a little bit around Puppet Labs? I mean, I'm, a, I'm an ex-systems administrator. I was a systems administrator for over 10 years. Came through the NT4 days, you know, then, you know, 2000, 2003, then into the, you know, the realm of virtualization. So uh, can you tell us a bit more about, you know, your products and how it relates to, to uh, being a systems administration and, um, you know, it, virtual infrastructures. Sure. So one of the core benefits of Puppet is that you get to define your infrastructure in software. So if you think of all those manual tasks you do where you SSH into machines, install packages, set up users, configure services, Puppet lets you define the state that you want the machine to be in, in a very simple domain specific language built for sysadmins. It's much easier than writing real code, it's easier than bash. and then Puppet just makes sure that the state you've defined is the actual state of those machines. So if you think about virtualization, one of the great things about virtualization is how easy it is to build all these machines, create all these images, create snapshots, but honestly they become a bit of a nightmare to manage. It becomes really hard to work out what your source of truth is as far as the actual state of the stack that you're running your applications on. So with Puppet you can take these base images for your vended OS, define in software the infrastructure that you want to actually be the case and you can do it in a modular way so your different Java applications you can define a common Java stack and reuse those components across your infrastructure and then what we generally tell people to do is produce images as a side effect of that so that your image is no longer the source of truth because those things are really hard to maintain it's really hard to update a root password across say 50 60 different images update a package for a security fix but when you're doing it all with puppet it's all defined in software Software, it applies the configuration you want and then you can produce images based upon that. So we have a bunch of open source components, Puppet and M Collective, our orchestration product, and we have a commercial product called Puppet Enterprise where we tie all of these things together in a really easy to consume bundle with a bunch of special integration with some of VMware's great products. So to give a real world example there, let's say I've got an environment, so I've got to sort of do a mass deployment, let's say I have a couple of thousand, you know, virtual machines, for example. This is where I'd use Puppet. So rather than, you know, trying to semi-automate it, so, you know, to save time, if I use Puppet, for example, if I'm, you know, if I hear you right there, I, you know, I can apply or pre-configure pre all the settings I wanted and everything and then just push it out in mass. Yep. Absolutely. And one of the great things about these chunks of reusable infrastructure in software is that we also have a community library of them at the Forge, forge.puppetlabs.com. And so we have a really great MySQL module, for example. So you don't need to go through and work out how you want MySQL configured in your environment because a whole bunch of people have already done that work for you. And you can apply the little tweaks that are special to you. But as we always say, most people's infrastructure, 80, 90% of it is the same as everyone else's. And if you can automate all of that pain away, and concentrate on the 10% that actually makes your company different and provides real business value, you're that much more effective as a sysadmin, you can do much more work and it lets you step up the stack as far as importance to the business goes. Well, that sounds pretty cool. So, uh, you know, what sort of costs involved around like, Let's say I'm a sysadmin, I've got this 2,000, you know, uh, deployment, uh, you know, desktop or virtual machine deployment I want to do. Uh, I mean, is, can I download it from somewhere? Does it cost me anything to do that? And like you say, there's, it sounds like there's a pretty good community around that as well. So there's quite a good sort of support network around sort of learning, finding out more. Absolutely. So you can grab Puppet Enterprise from our website at puppetlabs.com and that lets you run up to 10 nodes for free. And as soon as you're ready to sort of cross the bridge and like do a real deployment and talk, talk to our sales team, pricing's well under $100 a node and you can roll out Puppet Enterprise across all of your machines really, really easily. So once you've done the, the work to define your infrastructure for one machine, creating more of them is just a matter of pressing a button. We also work really hard to make sure that um, if you use Puppet Open Source, you can easily transition into Puppet Enterprise and get all the analytics and the extra things that we have in there. So if you use a Puppet module from our Forge, it will work with a Puppet uh, Open Source and also with Puppet Enterprise. So we don't make a differentiation there. We want people to be able to adopt it, use it, get real value, and then step up the stack as they need more things that we can provide. So that's good. So there's no real lock-in. You know, I, as, a, as a sysadmin, I can download it, kick the tires on it, you know, do a small implementation, make sure I'm happy with it, you know, and, uh, and then from there, take it to the next level. And, uh... 
we want you to do that. We don't we don't want to have to convince you to use Puppet. We want you to be delighted by using it to begin with. We don't we don't want it to be um, something that that we have to go tell you you know over and over again why you should use it and, and spend you know months of consulting to make you get any value out of it. You should be able to get value out of it day one. Yeah. So 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 the uh, the, the icing you download is it like a virtual appliance or is it is it some software that you then apply to a to an image or something like that? Sure, so it's an installation, we've got an installation package for all of the platforms that we support on Puppet Enterprise. Um, we also have a virtual machine you can download at puppetlabs.com slash learn, and that's a learning VM. And this is a really, really great way to get started because you're running a real version of Puppet Enterprise, and we've got a series of guided tutorials written by our awesome documentation team. And you can take that, skill up a little bit in Puppet, and then when you want to make the jump, you just go and install Puppet Enterprise on the machines you want. And I think it's important to double down on what Teo just said about taking advantage of, we have a huge open source community and some of those people we have a commercial relationship with, some of them contribute code, but as a commercial customer you get to take advantage of all of that. That sounds, that sounds really good. And sort of compatibility, obviously, you know, vSphere 5 has been out for a year now, 5.1 has just been released, is it fully compatible with like 5.1? Well, so I, I know um, that Puppet will work with, with VMware regardless because we focus on the operating system layer, so you have Puppet in your image, and that, that will work um, regardless. It's not, not really a, a problem. Now, with we have a um, provisioning tool called um, Puppet Cloud Provisioner, and I don't believe we've upgraded it to the latest version of vSphere yet, but that's on our, on our roadmap to fix There's that. There's one bug, and it's entirely to do with terminating instances, and you get a spurious warning. So it's so pretty much a cosmetic so, so no big deal. No big yeah. deal. Oh, that sounds brilliant. And I believe they're working on it right Sorry. now, actually. <laughs> okay. Well, that's excellent. So that sounds really good. I mean, you know, me as a X systems administrator, that, that's got a lot of appeal, right? Especially, you know, the price point to get, you know, download it, try it, make sure it's going to do the, you know, the job I want it to do. Um, and obviously, you know, a lot of uh, time saving qualities with it as well. So uh, if people want to find out more, you know, download it, try it, I mean, how, how do they get hold of you guys and uh, how do they get hold of Puppet Labs? Well, so you can just go to um, www.puppetlabs.com, and um, on there it'll take you to downloading Puppet Enterprise. And then we also have um, forge.puppetlabs.com, where you can find all those um, canned solutions to, um, to managing your infrastructure. And those also we sh come in the form of Puppet modules, and there's a module tool baked into the product. So you can easily search the Forge once you've installed Puppet Enterprise and say, search for Apache, search for MySQL, search for a JBoss module, and download people's chunks of reusable infrastructure and just get to work straight away. So that's fantastic. So it sounds like you're really sort of harnessing the power of the community there. You know, there's a real proactive community constantly creating these modules, and uh, that sounds fantastic. Well, that's, thank you very much for your time today. Thank I know you. definitely I'll be downloading it, trying it at, uh, in my lab environment, and, uh, you know, pr probably take it from there. But uh, thank you very much. No worries. We should just give a quick shout-out. We just announced this week to a really great integration with vFabric App Director. So you can take all of that content we were talking about, pull it straight into vFabric App Director, and take advantage of all of that. So that gives gives you 400 plus extra chunks of reusable infrastructure that you can just deploy straight from AppDirector. Well, wow. fantastic stuff. That's available on the um, VMware Solutions Exchange today. Okay. Yeah, great. Brilliant. Well, thanks again, guys, and uh, look forward to trying out Puppet Labs. All right, thank you. Thanks, thanks very much.